Okay, that's really funny. I just started this video and just said morning like I always do and a man thought I was saying morning to him and he just looked back at me and went morning. <laughs> anyway, good morning. I'm in Uzbekistan. I'm in sweltering Uzbekistan. It is I think 42 degrees is meant to be the high today. It's very hot. Whew. Anyway, uh, it's my second day here. I leave tomorrow. Um, I didn't film as much yesterday, but I did film some clips of what I got up to, but I was with a friend, so I was talking away and forgot to film. But I wanted to just do this kind of, so it's kind of going to be like a daily vlog, but I also will put in some of the clips from yesterday so you can see what I got up to yesterday. And this is the first video of my Uzbekistan series, which I'm going to do. Because um, I'm going to all of the Silk Road cities in Uzbekistan and I want to video them all. So, yes, what we're going to do first, <laughs> very exciting, is I'm going to go to the station and book the rest of my tickets for Uzbekistan because um, it's, yeah, it's a bit stressful getting tickets here. I'm also going to do an Uzbekistan travel tips video where I will probably talk about all of this. So, I'm going to go to the station now and then... I'm going to go to the Museum of Uzbekistan. So that's what I'm going to do, and I will show you what I get up to. And then I will also put in some of my clips from yesterday. So this is going to be a bit of a mishmash, but just roll with it. Roll with it. Roll with the punches. We'll have a good time. So, first things first, getting the metro to the station. So I thought I'd show you what I got up to yesterday. Now, before we go into what I did today, so this is the Chorsu Bazaar, um, which is the biggest market in Tashkent. Great place to get like spices and dried fruit and stuff like that. And this is the Kafal Shati Mausoleum. Okay. I have my tickets for the rest of my trip in Uzbekistan. I have them, bought them all the way to Benyu, which is in Kazakhstan. So, um, you need to buy your tickets in advance here. I'm going to talk about all of this in my Uzbekistan travel tips video because it's uh, yeah, a bit of a... Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a uh, interesting one. But you do need to buy all of your tickets in advance, which I've done now. And I was just approached by a man who asked if I didn't have tickets and I think he was, would have sold me some on the black market. I don't know whether that's a thing, but well, it is a thing, but I don't know. <laughs> so I'm in a Harry Potter themed cafe in Tashkent, the strangest thing. And they've got a really like British themed menu. It's really interesting. Um, few veggie options. I just had a pasta and tomato sauce, which was okay. Not the best thing I've ever eaten, but it was okay. Uh, but the decor is cool. Um, there are lots of props to dress up in <laughs> and things. I'm just gonna go have a look at that now. Okay, that 
that was quite interesting. Lots about Uzbek history. Not everything was in English, but quite a lot of it was. So now I'm gonna go to the Hotel Uzbekistan. That's where I'm walking to, and apparently there's some cool Soviet architecture around it. I might go into the Hotel Uzbekistan lobby as well, just because I really want to see one of the places that featured on Race Across the World. <laughs> By the way, Race Across the World was a British TV show where um, groups of two people had to basically just race across the world from London to Singapore and Hotel Uzbekistan featured in it. <laughs> it's very quiet. Like, I think this is like one of the main parts of the city and it's very, very quiet. They definitely did not film Race Across the World in July because they get to these checkpoints and they have to sign in at the checkpoints and like whoever gets to the checkpoint first gets to leave first. So everyone always races to the checkpoints. I would not be racing right now. I'm walking at about one kilometer per hour. Oh, it's very warm. really like luxury it's four star it says up there but um it's interesting it's an interesting place i preferred hotel kazakhstan which i stayed in there'll be a bit about that <laughs> right all i've got really left on my list of things i want to do here is check out a few more metro stations and make sure i've got some video footage of them all to share with you all so i'm gonna go do that now not sure which way i'm gonna go I don't know where I'm going from here, but I know it won't be boring. <laughs> 